What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Catfish on Ice YouTube channel. This is your host of the podcast, Chad Minton, on this crazy Thursday in the hockey world with the growing COVID-19 pandemic that we just can't get away from. All of these players getting added to the COVID protocols, including the Nashville Predators who are going through their own outbreak right now. Uh, just really tough stuff, but they are somehow still planning on playing the game tonight against the Colorado Avalanche. We are going to have episode 89 of Catfish on Ice live tonight during the game with the Predators and the Colorado Avalanche. So stay tuned for that. We're going live at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So right after the puck drops, we will be going live. We are here on our YouTube channel this evening to debut a new segment, which will also be in tonight's episode 89, but we are putting it on our YouTube channel for all of our subscribers right now. And that is our three clutch performers of the week. It's a spinoff of the three stars of every hockey game that you see. We're, we're going to do it a little differently here on Catfish on Ice. We are going to do our three clutch performers of the week every Thursday. Every Thursday episode, we will list off our three players from the Nashville Predators who were the most clutch, who came up big in really big-time situations to help propel the team to victory or keep them in the game. Of course, the Predators are currently on a five-game winning streak, but they have not played since Sunday due to these COVID-19 protocols. Real quick, let's run down for you before we do our three clutch performers of the week here on our YouTube channel. Let's list off for you real quick all of the players who are in COVID protocols right now. Of course, Ryan Johansson was the first player who got entered in. Then you started seeing the barrage of other players added, including Mikel Granlin, Phil Tomasino, Ben Harper, Michael McCarron, Matt Luff, and just added today, very late into the day. Everyone was expecting this player to play. He is also in COVID protocols, and that is Nick Cousins. That is a host of really important players for the Predators, and they're going up against a really red-hot Colorado Avalanche team that has already beaten them badly once this season, and it's looking really rough. A lot of fans feel like this game should not even be happening tonight, but the NHL is moving forward with it, which is shocking. Let's see the players real quick that have been called up to step in for these players that are in COVID protocols. We've got Rocco Grimaldi making his return back to the NHL Predators lineup. He's been straight up killing it for the Milwaukee Admirals. So we're happy to see him back. We love Rocco Grimaldi. We know he's an outstanding, classy player, and he's going to play his heart out tonight. Matthew Olivier, no stranger to the NHL lineup. He's back. We're going to get to see Cole Smith, who has really made an impression for the Milwaukee Admirals. We got Cody Glass, who initially was in the Preds lineup, and he was sent down to the Milwaukee Admirals to really work on his game, fine-tune his game. He's been making a huge impact for the Milwaukee Admirals. And, of course, the Milwaukee Admirals have been making a steady improvement after starting off the season really rough. So Cody Glass has played a big part in that. And then what do you know? Of course, also the COVID protocols has affected the coaching staff. Most of the coaching staff for the Predators has been affected, including head coach John Hines, Dan Lambert, Todd Richards, and even Dan Hanot, who everyone thought was going to coach tonight. He was also last second today added to the COVID protocols. Unfortunately, even media members are affected by this. This is a really big uh, outbreak here. We hope everyone stays well, stays healthy, gets better soon. But that is where the Predators find themselves at right now going into tonight. So we did want to update our YouTube subscribers watching on the channel about that. But let's go ahead and get into our three clutch performers of the week. Our first time ever doing this for the YouTube channel. Again, Catfish and Ice podcast is part of the Hockey Podcast Network and also presented by DraftKings. Exclusive offers for new people who sign up. Promo code THPN. Let's get into our... Three clutch performers of the week for the first time. I'm starting off at number three, and that is UC Soros. Got to go with UC Soros first. Anytime your goaltender posts a shutout, makes 63 saves on 65 shots faced, that's, that's incredible, and you've got to put them as a clutch performer. Of course, UC Soros has steadily been 
really playing well, really good hockey in net for the Predators lately, as we all expected him to do this season. And he is really, he's had a couple hiccups along the way, but he's really starting to get into shape here and really look just like he did towards the end of last season when he went on that crazy streak that almost got him into the Vesna Trophy conversation. We all think he should have been in the Vesna Trophy conversation, but now he's starting to do it again. Like I said, 63 saves on 65 shots on that road trip against the Devils and the Rangers when he came back from his own illness, which was non-COVID, but he comes back. We were kind of like, is he going to be rusty? Is he going to have a little bit of a rust to shake off after being out two games? He didn't miss a beat. Did not miss a beat. Played really, really well against the Devils. Only surrendered two goals. And then 1-0 shutout for the Predators against a really, really good New York Rangers team on Sunday. That was the last time we saw the Predators in action. UC Soros in that game uh, really just stymied the Rangers. And it was I, you could see the frustration on the Rangers not being able to get a goal past Soros. So he comes in at number three on our list of clutch performers of the week. Great job to UC Soros. Number two for me is Yakov Trenin. Might surprise some people here, but I am showing some serious love to Yakov Trenin. He just keeps growing his game and making a bigger and bigger an impact. He's he's scoring goals now. He had a game-winning goal this past week uh, in the road trip. He also added another extra goal on that. He was flying around the ice, hitting people like he always does. Also stepped up for round two against Zdeno Chara in the New York Islanders game. Give him some points for that. And also was piling up the shots on goal as well. Uh, like I said, 13 shots on goal over those four games this past week. Had the game-winning goal. To his credit, was very efficient in very short amount. He's not getting a lot of ice time because he's still more of a depth player, but he's making the most out of his action. So that's why I got to put him in at number two on my clutch performers of the week for the National Predators. And coming in at number one probably doesn't shock a lot of people, but you know what? When your captain and arguably your best defenseman in the world plays the way he played this past week, you put him at number one on your clutch performance of the week, and that is Roman Yossi, who is making a very strong case right now that he's going to be in the serious conversation to get his second Norris Trophy of his career. He's playing that great right now. Look over this road trip, these last four games of this past week, put up six points over the road trip, two power play assists, was all over the ice making things happen. You always know he's going to put in the time on ice, always well over 20 minutes per game. He's just holding the team together and doing all these things that a captain does. Uh, I, I have to put him at my number one clutch performer because he that's what he does. He comes up big in clutch moments when he has to. I, there's no way I was going to put anyone ahead of him this week. Roman Yossi, he gets our clutch performer of the week top slot. We will do this every Thursday on our YouTube channel for our YouTube subscribers exclusively right before we go live for our Thursday night episode. Please come join us tonight on our YouTube channel as we live stream episode 89 with myself, Chad Minton, and my co-host, Rich Howe. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have live game reaction to the Predators and Avalanche, which drop the puck at 7 p.m. Central in Nashville. We got some other fun stuff in store for you as well, including our power rankings. Every Thursday we do our battle for the central power rankings. We'll do that. And go download the episode tomorrow. We've got an awesome interview coming for you with Joe Dubin, better known as Big Joe on the go, Nashville sports legend, media legend. Been following Big Joe for a long time. He's hilarious, and we cannot wait to get to talk to him on episode 89 tonight. Later on this evening, we will be talking to him about all kinds of things. That will be on the full episode tomorrow when you go download the podcast. Thank you so much. Again, this is Chad Mitten. Thanks for joining us on the YouTube channel tonight. Catfish on Ice podcast, episode 89 coming to you. Again, we're brought to you by DraftKings. Promo code THPN for exclusive offers. And, of course, we are part of the Hockey Podcast Network. We'll see you later this evening for episode 89. Can't wait to see everybody.